we are back at Up North at Four. We are continuing our journey on where in the world is Jeff. So Jeff is tuned in, Jeff. <laughs> Hi, Jeff. Hey, Agnes. Hey, Dan. Yes, uh, I think I kept it a pretty good secret this year where uh, Paris is my first stop on my annual journey of where in the world is Jeff. Uh, I do this in conjunction with, of course, the airport in Rhinelander, uh, just to show people how easy it is to get around and travel the world through Rhinelander. And it really is easy. There's a nonstop flight from Minneapolis over to Paris. I took it. It's long, but it gets you here. And of course, this place is magical. It's, it's every bit as, you know, romantic. And um, I don't. It, it has a feel to it that many other world places don't. The Olympics are coming up in Paris. Have you seen much preparation for that? <laughs> yeah, you know, this was, I don't know, Dan. This was I, one of those, like, I was nervous kind of flying out here because I'd never been to Paris before, and it's just before the Olympics. So, you know, I was able to kind of meander around everywhere earlier today in the rain, uh, and there is a lot of construction going on, but I wanted to see how a big major city gets, you know, put together to host a big world event the Olympics, which are in 85 days from now on NBC. So I saw that, and the, I mean, I was talking to the construction guy earlier, and he's I'm like, are you behind schedule? And he's like, no, I were on schedule. Although it looks like, you know, a lot of things have to come together pretty quickly to make this happen, I think, and they're confident it is going to happen. So, Jeff, Jeff, I know you've been in Paris for only a couple of hours. Uh, Parlez-vous français? <laughs> you know, I went to a couple of the uh, markets, which are behind me this way, uh, and the pubs and all that. And it's just, you know, I've been catching up on my French uh, since I knew I was going to come here, since I booked the flights a couple of months ago. Uh, and so far, so good. No one's giving me a weird look. And I got to tell you, I've been learning, like, the... Uh, like how they greet people, you know, bonjour. You guys say bonjour correctly. And then you have to give people like a kiss on the left cheek followed by the right cheek. <laughs> you know, so there's a there's a way to do this and do it properly without looking like a tourist. So I've been working on not looking like a tourist. Do people there speak English pretty well or do you kind of have to halfway or through French as well? I would say it's mixed. Uh, so I flew into Charles de Gaulle Airport and many of the signs right now are not in English. So there's uh, but getting around town here, I would say it's 50-50 English and French. Um, English speaking going on where you can kind of just, you know, feel your way through. And if not, you just ask questions. And then most everybody I've talked to just like, you know, <laughs> will guide you in the right direction of where is it. I got lost once earlier today over over there. Uh, but that's that's it. Wow, Jeff. I got to say, I, I this is this looks so beautiful. It, it looks great. Yeah, isn't it? <laughs> I mean, like this is a view for the ages, isn't it? Like yes. this is just neat. Uh, I was up, I was up earlier today. Of course, you can go up in there. Um, they're starting to kind of lock down a few things right now because of the Olympics coming, of course. But you can still get up there. Um, and quite frankly, like I said, it is so. I don't want to call it easy to get here, but it's not complicated to get here. So if you want to be a world traveler and you want to go someplace special and you want to see how a big major city operates, you know, this is this is a place like this is just neat. And everybody here is hope he was watching there at home can enjoy what I'm seeing out here. In OK. OK. Well, Jeff, thank you so much for tuning in. We will be with you tomorrow. Bonjour. We'll be right back after this break. Au revoir. Right. Au revoir. I'm done. Uh, yeah, right.